All right, so to start off, we're going to we're going to go through your three different flight modes as I'm sure you all know, you have your normal flight mode. Um, and depending upon what kind of radio you're using, you usually have an idle up 1 and in some cases an idle up 2. So we're going to cover all three of them. Um, to start off, we're going to start with normal. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the pitch curve and the throttle curve in both normal. Um, basically what I'm going to give you is a good starting point. Um, afterwards, it's up to you to fine tune it and, and find the spot uh, that you're comfortable with flying depending upon your flying style, of course. Um, so we'll get into that. I've made some, uh, some diagrams we'll talk about. Um, we're going to start with the pitch curve. All right, so to start off here, um, we've got what a what our pitch curve should look like. If you get into your pitch curve uh, menu, we've got the normal pitch curve here. Um, slide it up a little bit, um, and basically, what you want to achieve, as you're aware, you have your three different positions um, on your radio. Okay, you've got the low position, you've got the medium and then you've got the high position okay and uh, basically when we're setting this up what you want to look for is at the low position we should have a zero degree of pitch um, some people choose to put a little bit of negative in there I like to just do zero okay and at the mid stick position which is at exactly 50 in 50 out um, you're gonna want to look for a plus five and then at the high position which is going to be all the way up here we're going to look for about a plus 10 okay and like I said in another video we'll go over how to program it I just want to talk about it to get you to understand it a little more okay so this curve here this is going to be your curve you'll notice it makes a nice you know from low to high curve um, this isn't uh, an exact curve as to what your radio may look like um, of course, the numbers are going to vary. Your curve may be lower, higher, have, have more of an arc in it. Um, this is just for an understanding. Um, but basically, of course, once you, uh, when you're in the process of programming the helicopter, you program it at mid-stick to have zero. So wherever that mid-stick is to have zero in your normal pitch curve, you're going to want to um, adjust the curve to where you have zero. Um, because if you set it up for, we'll say, a plus and minus uh, 11 for your 3D modes, you're going to obviously have a plus or minus 11 right here, and you don't want that in your normal mode because we want to go 0, plus 5, plus 10. So you're going to need to adjust this to where you have 0, um, and then at mid-stick, so usually we'll, we'll skip this one for now, so your curve will look a little funny. Um, you know, realistically, if uh, your curve travels in a linear path, then we move this one, you know your curves gonna end up going you know something a little bit like that you know so it, it'll look a little funny you know and of course this one's gonna kinda go like that um, we're gonna increase this one to have a plus five at mid stick and a plus ten um, the goal to your pitch curve is getting a nice or a nice smooth movement here so you want you want the pitch of the blade to be nice and even with this curve right here your, your pitch is going to be moving all over the place so after we get our 0 plus 5 and plus 10 you're going to want to go back to these two middle points some radios automatically find the middle number so as I increase this one it'll drag this one up um, my DX7 does not do that um, so you'll want to go back in and I mean you can get all mathematical on it and find the exact number in between but me I just uh, I bump the number up and up and up until I get that nice good curve between these two and then I'll bump this one up until I get the nice curve in between these two you know and you wanna you wanna get down eye level with your actual blade on the heli and make sure you get a nice smooth curve so once again normal pitch curve normal mode we wanna look for uh, zero a plus five and a plus ten and that's gonna be at your low your medium and your high settings um, make sure the curve is nice and smooth of course your curve may look a little bit different than mine um, so so get that set up usually I do the pitch curve first um, your three different pitch curves and then I'll go through and do the uh, the throttle curve settings because you don't actually have to have the helicopter plugged in to do that um, 
So this is a good basic starting point. Um, you're going to achieve lift at right around here at a plus five. So that's going to determine. That's going to be determined upon what your uh, throttle curve is, of course, and what head speed you're running. But uh, usually at about a, a plus five and up is where you're going to achieve lift. So realistically, you're going to be flying on this end of the uh, the spectrum here, um, and not really so much over here. So that that's why we go from a zero to a plus five. This is where we get our lift, and then we can fly comfortably in around this area. So we're going to get into the uh, the normal flight or er, sorry about that the normal throttle curve, and uh, we'll talk about how it interacts with this to give you a nice smooth running machine, and uh, we'll go through some of the do's and don'ts. So to get into our normal throttle curve here, okay. So this is going to be the throttle curve setting for your normal <clears throat> for your normal pitch curve, okay. So what we're going to look for now, the throttle curve is going to be just a little bit different. Um, so your throttle curve is the same concept, okay. We've got our our low, our medium, and our high settings, okay. And it, it uh, corresponds to the same thing, you know, your low stick, your medium stick, or your mid stick, and your high stick, okay. Um, so what we're looking for with our throttle curve is we want to look for at low stick you of course want to have zero we're in normal mode so we're not gonna um, be able to take off you know with with stick all the way down the motor won't spool up at mid stick I like to hit about an 80 percent and we'll talk about that a little bit more as we get into our 3d modes and at high stick of course a hundred percent excuse me so um, the way the way I usually do my normal throttle curve like I said uh, going back to our pitch curve here I like to achieve lift right at around mid stick uh, realistically it's probably just a little bit above um, not dead mid stick but probably just a little bit above but you get pretty light on the skids you know right at about mid stick which I like that um, so what I usually like to do is of course so right here we're gonna wanna have a zero we're gonna wanna have at half stick I like to put us uh, right at about an eighty percent um, once again, we're going to talk about that a little bit more, but uh, that, that's a really good consistent head speed. It achieves a, a very nice lift for a about a plus five, plus six. Um, and then, so, of course, your high is going to be 100. So the in-betweens, um, you'll notice right here we've got a big, huge ramp up. We're going to go straight from zero to 75%, or er, 70%, sorry. We're going to go straight from zero to 70%. <clears throat> so basically, our curve is is gonna go get these lines in here our curve is gonna go 70 80 90 100 okay um, and the reason we do that is of course from a zero to a plus five that allows us to go all the way up to an 80 percent on our motor speed now you could put this at a 60 at a 10 uh, uh, whatever you wanted to do but uh, this you know allows you to get a nice good slow soft start and then as we get uh, this 25% uh, increase between these numbers here, we're going to go from 70 to 80%. 80% percent. is a really good sustain, uh, sustainable um, head speed to give us a nice lift. So I just bump it up to 70. I like to keep it even, 70, 80, 90, 100. Um, and once again, we're going to be flying around this area right here. So basically from a plus 5 all the way to a plus 10, we're going to be flying between the ranges of 80 to 100% um, on our throttle, which is which is really nice. You got to realize something in normal flight mode, which is what this is. Every time you throttle up and you throttle down, you're going to increase and decrease your motor speed, um, and that can get a little dangerous uh, if you're new to flying because. Obviously, every time you increase the speed, you're going to get a little bit more stability um, and a little bit more precision because the, the higher your head speed, the faster the helicopter is going to interact. But then again, when you pitch down and you lower the head speed, you're going to lose a little bit of that stability and a little bit of that precision. So when you're flying in your normal flight mode, you got to really learn to be easy on the throttle because if I just say I gain a lot of altitude and I drop the helicopter right so I take my stick down and I, and I pull my stick all the way down to here 
I'm now down to around, we'll say, 73% uh, on my motor, and I'm dropping quick. So now I'm going to rev it back up all the way up to a 90 to counter it. You're going to jump from a 70 to a 90% really fast, and that's usually going to um, result in a little bit of extra torque. The tail might kick out a little bit. Um, the heli's going to, um, you know, rev up really fast. Um, and that has resulted in, a, in, in crashes for a lot of people. So you got to realize in your normal flight mode, you want to try to, to keep it in the range of landing, taking off, hovering, maybe some slow turns and stuff like that. Um, but do realize the higher up you get, the harder it is to bring down. You got to learn to really work your, uh, your collective and manage it properly. So for landing, taking off, and, and um, you know, just really nice and easy flying around, staying between your 80 and your 100 percent and your plus 5 and your plus 10 are really where you want to be to uh, achieve a nice good smooth flight this uh, this basic pitch curve and this basic throttle curve realistically uh, when I build and program helicopters for for other customers this is what I set them at and when I test fly them for them I may make a couple adjustments here and there depending upon the make and model of the helicopter, but uh, this is usually a pretty solid uh, setup for your normal flight mode. Um, but once again, can't stress it enough, do realize um, in the event of flying in normal mode, you do uh, increase and decrease the head speed quite a bit during flight. That's why I like this uh, 80 to 100 right here, because there really is a only a slight increase. Um, in your stick movement where you're actually flying but when you bring her in to land you gotta realize you're dropping pitch and you're dropping motor speed so you gotta be really easy on it um, another thing to uh, take into consideration if you want to uh, be one of those guys that's flying a plus, t a plus 12 over here or something like that or you want a plus 6 or, or you want different numbers you have to realize that um, so they have what's called load on the blades. So the more pitch you have, the more force or the more load you're putting on the blades, that's going to translate to more stress on the motor. Okay. So you have what's called bogging down the motor or stalling your blades out. Um, the more numbers you add here, so uh, we'll, we'll take it from this aspect. If I add pitch to the helicopter, you have to compensate with more head speed because as you increase pitch you need to increase uh, the RPMs to compensate for load otherwise you'll get a poor running machine um, you're going to be putting a lot of unwanted stress on the motor and all the mechanical parts of the helicopter now on the flip side if you if you lessen the numbers here and here say we take this down to a nine take this down to a three just throwing numbers out there I would not recommend doing so but um, then we can then come over here and we can uh, lessen these numbers because um, obviously the less amount of pitch we have, the, the less amount of head speed we need. So you got to really learn to find the delicate balance between the two. Basically, the more pitch you have, the more head speed you need to compensate for load. The less pitch you have, the less head speed you need. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting power and energy. You know, if I was only running a plus three and I'm all the way up here at 80 percent, I mean, I obviously have more head speed than I know what to do with. Okay, so. You really want to find the good balance between the two. Like I said, this is a pretty good starting point for them. It's like a smack in the middle setup. So from here, you can go and you can adjust and, and uh, you know do some trial and error. If you if you make some adjustments here and there and you feel like it's not running right, bring it back to this point here um, and and uh, try some other adjustments. But uh, I'm pretty sure this will work pretty good for you um, as long as the mechanical and programming aspect of the helicopter are done. So that's going to be your, uh, your, normal, your normal pitch curve and your normal throttle curve and how they work and how they interact with each other. Um, so from here we'll move on to your, uh, your idle one, or I call it your sport flying mode. Um, we'll work on the pitch curve and throttle curve for that. They're going to be pretty different from these two. So we'll, we'll move on from there.